Daryl, after Tuesday's postponement, we go on the road to Solihull. I know you haven't had a full week to prepare for him, but how have the preparations gone? No, really good. I think um, obviously we were we were ready and prepared to go to Aldershot. Um, it was a game that we were really looking forward to off the back of our recent performance. We were looking forward to going there. Unfortunately, you know the weather dictates we didn't play, so um, we're back in today and now getting ready for Solihull, which we know will be a difficult game. And uh, on Monday, I asked if it was a benefit for uh, Aldershot having a week off. Obviously, due to the postponement and the weather, we're now the ones to have a longer rest period. Do you think it will benefit us? I think I'll give you the same answer as I give you Monday. I don't think it really matters. I think in this league, we're used to playing Saturday, Tuesday, and I'm sure Solihull will be the same. They've got a really strong squad. I think if you look at the bench they've got at the moment as well, it's full of quality. They've got a, a deep group there. Um, so we know it's going to be a difficult game. Um, we'll be prepared, as we always are, to, to, go, to go in there and try and get a result. And uh, we've been fortunate enough recently to not talk about injuries sustained, but... Can I ask quickly about Jules Saunders and Elliot Johnson? Of course, we saw them on the bench against Maidenhead. Are they nearing to return to action on the pitch? We hope they'll play against Colchester in the Essex Senior Cup. That's, that's the game we, we've penned in for them. They've done bits and bobs of training. George, and, well, they've trained fully today, funnily enough, um, both of them. But we, um, we want to be careful we don't push them back too quickly. I think, in particular, George, he's obviously been out a long time, so he's got to go through quite a lot of, uh, tick a lot of boxes to get back to full fitness. And with El, El's been back and gone out again um, with an injury, so we know how big a player he is for us, so we don't want to lose him again, so we're just going to treat him with an extra bit of precaution. And uh, just on the FA Cup, we saw the draw on Monday night and we're at home to the League 2 Gillingham, or National League North AFC filed. Are you happy with the draw? Delighted, absolutely over the moon, especially being at home. I think no matter who we play, we know the difficult games in the FA Cup. Um, I think that shows every year teams knock teams out, etc. Um, but it's a, it's one that we're happy to have at home. I think I said that to you after the Maidenhead game. We'll take anybody at home. Um, we feel like a home form's good, we're strong at home. Um, and we look forward to that when we come round. And a few weeks back you said we had two signings which unfortunately fell through at the last minute. Have we progressed with anything and are we still actively looking to add on to the squad? We are, yes. I think we we're going to lose Ty Johnson next week to go back to Woken. Woken has said they want to call him back, take him back into their squad. Um, Smart, his loan runs out soon as well and, and his, um, his partner is about to give birth so we're, we're actively speaking to Smart. He would love to keep um, and we'd love to keep both of them to be honest but um, one's been taken out of our hands, hopefully we can keep, still keep Smart. Um, and we're looking to hopefully add another one or two to the group. We, we, we're also conscious as well that we have got one or two coming back. So like we said about um, Johnson and Saunders <coughs> and also we, we've got David Longking back on the grass today as well doing some running. So, he might be back in training by the back end of next week as well, which would be a massive boost for us. And uh, just back to this weekend's fixture then, we know Solihull Moors are a top, top side who just fell uh, short of the last hurdle last season. You must be expecting a tough game against them. Yeah, listen, we, we, we go out here probably as underdogs, I'm sure. People will expect Solihull, I think they've only lost one at home in 2022, something like that, or maybe two. Um, we know it's going to be a really, really difficult game, but that's the next challenge for us. I said this last week, we're a team that have been had lots of trials and tribulations against us this season, but I feel like we've shown real strength in the last month or so with the, with the quality of our play, with the determination to get wins and results in the team now. I think we look like a, a team that's building. Um, just had a long way to go on this season and we still feel that if we can hang in and around where we are now in terms of points off playoffs, we'll get people back into the group, we'll get stronger and stronger. And uh, Tuesday was actually the first time this season they had been defeated at home, so I'm not sure about the 23 and Tuesday, but you were quite correct there. We spoke about expecting a reaction from Aldershot after their defeat on, uh, in Monday's interview. Is it going to be the same this weekend? Of course, they were just been uh, defeated again, uh, on Tuesday night against Halifax. Yeah, it's a good teams show reaction. I think you know we've seen that time and time again in this league. I think we've seen in this league as well time and time again. People beat everybody. It's happened all season. Probably apart from the top two or three, who've been really, really consistent. I think the rest have been, you know, anybody beats anybody really. If I'm being really honest. Um, but Solly, listen, Solly are a good team. Neil's a good manager. They've got some players that are, are too good for this level which I think is fair to say um, but it's not one that we fear like I said it's a challenge and we're really looking forward to going there uh, In their last six games only once have both teams scored in, uh, in that match does this make the first goal on Saturday that more important? Um, the first goal is always important I think in games it, it changes goals change games it's the old saying in the world of football I suppose but I think for us we know we're capable of scoring goals um, I think we might be the sixth or seventh highest scorers in the division. I'm pretty sure we're, we're, we're up there. Um, so we're, we're confident that anywhere, anywhere we play against, anywhere we go, we, we've got the ability to score goals. We've got to just make sure that we're very good defensively, as we have been in the last month or so, and, and keep building. And uh, after the Wildstone game, you mentioned how impressive our home form has been this season. 
On the road, we have seen some decent performances, but I've only come away picking up five points. As a manager, how do you prepare for an away trip compared to a home tie, and how can we look to improve our away form? Um, it's a good question. I think you prepare the same. The pitch is still rectangular. It's still 11 v 11. It's still most of the time it's grass. A couple of times it's plastic. But I think we we've had some good performance away from home. I think as well we've had some really difficult away games as well. I think if you factor in, we've been you know a lot of travelling on Tuesday nights and stuff like that. We are we have had a lot of hard away games. Um, not that that's an excuse. We've got to play everybody, but. And as well, we've missed some different personnel at different time. We've had different, it's, I mean, it's quite simple just to say games points, I think that's easy, but the story is quite different if you dig into it. Um, we've had some good performance away from home. Um, Chesterfield comes to your mind. Eastly, we were excellent and should have won that game, in my opinion. Um, York, York scored very late against us as well. It could have been another three points for us. So um, We look to build on what we've done, particularly in the last month, as I said, and, and, and keep performing well. And uh, just finally, you mentioned that a lot of time we do look to focus on ourselves. In your ideal world, what type of performance do you want to see from your players on Saturday? What type of performance? Yeah, what, in, in your ideal world, what type of performance? I think all you can ever ask of your team is to give everything it has and ask every player to be trying to be at his maximum and to put the team before themselves. That's the most important thing as well, that we play as a team. I think um, in the last month or so we've seen a real coming together of a, of a, of a team um, in front of our eyes and I think they've got, we've got to keep doing that, keep, keep, keep level-headed, keep grounded, keep walking, keep fighting keep scrapping. I think that's all we can ask the team to do. Um, and they're doing that and, and doing it well at the moment.